few minutes. So I'm going to talk to you guys about personal style development as well as um, branding for your business. Um, I am going to be looking down a lot because I do have notes because I didn't want to miss anything. So let's talk. So first, um, before we get started, it's best that I do talk to you guys about um, what exactly is brand identity. So this is something that is very key when you are building a business, growing a business, especially as like a style coach, or, sorry, not a style coach, as a business coach or whatever it is that you're doing. Oh, thank you for the belated birthday wish. <laughs> um, whatever you guys are doing, um, whatever it is that you are promoting, this is great for even personal branding. So brand identity in short is basically just a visual representation of your brand. So this is like your colors, um, your logo, your aesthetic, the fonts that you're using, um, what makes you, what visually represents your brand. So this is everything that people are seeing either on social media or when they purchase something from you or whatever it is. So this is like the visuals. This is what people are seeing. It's not what they're touching or holding, but it's just what they're seeing and not necessarily like the services that you're providing or the visual products that you're giving out. This is just what they see when they come and they see your page or they see your portfolio or whatever. This is just a visual representation of you. So with that being said, this goes very hand in hand when you talk about personal style. So what is personal style? So personal style is the same thing. It's a visual representation of who you are as a person. So. If I was to talk about myself, this is a visual representation of who Shanine is, whether it be classy, sophisticated, feminine, whatever it is, this is the visual representation of me. So when you are a style coach, or I keep saying style coach, <laughs> when you are a business coach or um, somebody who is providing services to um, like the broader public or whatever the case is, it's important that your um, brand identity and your personal style are similar and I'm going to get into that a little bit deeper so if you want to think about your business now and your business's personal style I like to personify your business as like an actual person so um, if you were to take your style business and looked at it what type of business is she or he right like what's her personality what do they offer to people what do they want people to experience when they are experiencing them like what exactly is it what's um making people want to be a part or know more about you what is visually standing out and why is this important because you have to think about like what you are trying to give to people and what you want them to experience in return right so as a business owner or someone who's providing services you are providing of yourself you're not necessarily giving away a product per se but you have to think of yourself as the product that's being given away and not so much like um, the services as your product this is you this is who you are what you're giving what you're offering um, and even the digital products that you're giving so you're providing like your services your expertise your knowledge that's your um, meat and potatoes of who you are and your business right so I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean by this so one of my favorite I like to use um, Apple products as an example for this but I'm gonna actually use a makeup brand so one of my favorite makeup brands is NARS. So this is one of my favorite brands. It's kind of messy, but it's one of my favorite makeup brands. And the thing about NARS is they have like a very unique brand identity and um, style to it. So with NARS products, it's very simple. It's very chic. You can tell it's NARS even without having the logo on, like on the actual product. You can see it from a mile away and you know that this is it right so with NARS right like let's say we're talking about just the this is the semi matte all day luminous foundation okay so this is the NARS foundation that we're looking at today and let's say um, 
we were going to just talk specifically just about the product itself. So for this product, it's say like I looked up online and it's saying it's full coverage, has a natural finish, it's liquid, has a radiant finish, and all these great, wonderful things about this product, right? And what it's trying to provide to people. So with NARS, um, they have a clean and simple, chic patch packaging because they're trying to um, reach an audience that likes products or is living a lifestyle that is more clean, chic, elegant, or whatever, or trying to make people feel that way. So if you put yourself in the position of a NARS foundation, um, what you're offering, so that radiant skin, the natural glow, all that stuff, that's your expertise, your knowledge, your strategies, all of that stuff. And then the actual bottle that's holding in all that stuff is you. So you're the actual product and how you are designing yourself is your personal style. So to put these all together, you could say, well, you would say that your personal style is your, your branding, your visual brand identity for your service services that you are providing people. So this is what's making you stand out from the rest. And this is also kind of like the idea of the lifestyle that you're trying to provide people. So when you're thinking about your brand identity and um, for your business, think long-term, think about you as a person, what you're trying to give to people, who you are as an individual, what types of things that you want to stand out most about you and your business and focus on that and put that together in your brand identity. So I am gonna go a little bit deeper in this in the upcoming days and I'm also working on some things to kind of make this a little bit simpler for you. But with personal style and brand identity, they do go hand in hand. They are one and the same. <laughs> So when you are thinking about it, you do need to rem remember personal style goes with brand identity as well as two of the same things. These are cohesive. <laughs> Anyways, um, but thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. That's all for me today. If you missed the live, the replay is going to be there and I am going to be posting it on um, YouTube. But that's all I have for today. I hope this... Um, helps and I, I'm going to go deeper in what brand identity really is. It's kind of like just a little sprinkle of the types of things that I want to come on here and talk more about but continues to show up. If you do have any questions um, definitely send me a DM and I am willing to take on some more clients this week so definitely send me a DM and we can talk a little bit more about your branding and about how we can put the two together, how we can mesh your personal style with your brand identity together. And I'll definitely help you do those things. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you all later. Bye.